Scotland's deep ancestry is a fascinating blend of several ancient populations whose stories over thousands of years have shaped the land and its people. After the glaciers receded at the end of the last ice age, around 12,000 BC, small groups of hunter-gatherers arrived in Scotland. These early people, known as Western hunter-gatherers, were highly adaptable. They lived off fish, shellfish, and wild game. Evidence from archaeological sites like flint tools and shell middens along ancient riverbanks and coastlines shows that these groups moved with the seasons in search of food, setting the groundwork for future genetic and cultural diversity. Around 4000 BC, Scotland experienced a significant shift with the arrival of Neolithic farmers from continental Europe. These newcomers brought agriculture and animal domestication, leading to more permanent settlements. The remnants of early farming communities and stone structures found across Scotland show that these early farmers had a lasting impact. Their way of life blended with that of the existing hunter-gatherers, resulting in a genetic mix that became a defining part of Scotland's history. The next major transformation came around 2400 BC with the arrival of the Bell Beaker culture. This group is known for its distinctive pottery and advanced metalworking techniques. Their arrival brought a substantial genetic influx from the Pontic Caspian steppe. In many parts of Britain, including Scotland, this migration led to a near replacement of the previous Neolithic gene pool. The Bell Beaker people intermingled with the local populations, adding new genetic markers and cultural practices that are still detectable in modern Scots. By around 300 BC during the Iron Age, the inhabitants of Scotland had developed into various Celtic-speaking tribes, each with its own traditions and customs. The Picts, one of the most mysterious of these groups, are remembered for their distinct culture. Although historical records from this time are sparse, modern genetic research suggests a continuity from earlier periods alongside some regional variations. These groups laid the cultural foundations that would later merge with influences from other migrations. The arrival of the Romans around AD 120 Fultra introduced a brief period of occupation in parts of Scotland. However, the Roman influence on the local gene pool was minimal. Despite building forts and outposts, the rugged terrain and strong local resistance meant that the long-established genetic patterns of Scotland remained largely intact. Roman administrative and military presence did bring a few new individuals into the mix, but overall their impact was relatively minor compared to the waves of earlier and later migrations. After the Roman withdrawal, the early medieval period, roughly AD 300 to 900, saw further evolution in Scotland's genetic and cultural landscape. The Picts continued to live in the north while Gaelic-speaking peoples began migrating from the west. This mix of cultures gradually led to the formation of a distinct Scottish identity, blending traditions, languages, and genetic lineages. Archaeological finds and genetic studies show that while there was a strong continuity with the Iron Age populations, new influences were also steadily introduced during this period. The Viking Age, beginning around AD 800, brought another significant change. Norse settlers arriving by sea particularly targeted the northern and western isles of Scotland. These Vikings were not just raiders but also settlers, and their genetic influence is especially pronounced in regions like Orkney, Shetland, and the Hebrides. Modern studies suggest that in some areas nearly half of the local ancestry can be traced back to Scandinavians. The Vikings left their mark not only in the genetic record, but also in place names and cultural traditions that have persisted for centuries. During the later medieval period, additional groups such as Normans, Flemish, and others made their way into Scotland. Although these migrations were smaller in scale, they still contributed to the overall genetic mosaic. Their influence is sometimes seen in the finer details of genetic markers and family histories, linking some modern Scots to medieval knights, merchants, or settlers. Over time, these different lineages continued to blend, further enriching the genetic heritage of Scotland. In modern times, advances in genetic testing have allowed individuals to explore this rich tapestry of ancestry in detail. A DNA test today can reveal traces of the ancient hunter-gatherers, early farmers, steppe herders, Celtic tribes, Norse settlers, and even smaller groups from the medieval period. These tests provide insights into both the paternal and maternal lines, showing how centuries of migrations and interactions have shaped the genetic makeup of modern Scots. For many, discovering these ancestral threads not only offers a glimpse into the distant past, but also helps create a personal connection to a long, intertwined history. Overall, the story of Scottish ancestry is one of continuous change, marked by waves of migration and cultural exchange. 
Each group that arrived from the earliest hunter-gatherers to the Norse settlers contributed to a dynamic and diverse genetic legacy. This blended heritage is not only a record of ancient migrations, but also a reminder of how human societies adapt and evolve over time. Modern Scots, with their varied genetic backgrounds, carry the legacy of these diverse populations in their DNA. Their ancestry reflects the challenges, triumphs, and everyday lives of countless individuals who, over millennia, helped shape the culture and identity of Scotland. The history of Scotland's people, therefore, is not a single story, but a complex narrative woven from many different threads. It is a story of survival and adaptation, of communities coming together and evolving over time. Modern genetic research has illuminated many of these ancient migrations, revealing how deeply interwoven Scotland's past is with the broader history of Europe. This understanding not only enriches our view of history, but also underscores the enduring human spirit that has always sought to explore, adapt, and thrive, even in the face of harsh and changing environments. In summary, Scottish ancestry is built on a foundation that spans from ancient hunter-gatherers to modern populations, with each successive wave of migration adding its own distinct flavor to the cultural and genetic fabric. The legacy of these early inhabitants is still present today in both the genetic markers found in modern Scots and the enduring cultural traditions that have been passed down through generations. As science continues to advance, we can expect to learn even more about the intricate connections that bind us to our distant past, deepening our understanding of what it means to be Scottish and how that identity has been shaped by centuries of human experience.